that's probably the coolest tire cover I've seen, especially with today's episode, the subject of today's episode. Sorcerer Mickey there with Yensid. Which, if you didn't know, is Disney spelled backwards. That was the name of the sorcerer and the sorcerer's apprentice from Fantasia, Yensid. Disney spelled backwards. Just remember that from my old time working at the Great Movie Ride, which I am working on that video. Seriously. Seriously working on it. So don't worry, it's coming. But we are on a nostalgic trip here today at the Epcot Center of Walt Disney World, the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. And we're gonna be talking about the year 2000, the millennium. I lived through that. The millennium was scary, honestly. But more about that and some, some weird things here at Walt Disney World's Epcot now. Let's take a closer look. So the millennium, Y2K. I remember a lot of that era because I was terrified. Still living in Mississippi. My parents, I was a young, young kid in the year 1999. And everybody kept talking about this Y2K bug. And they said, you know, power's gonna go out at the stroke of midnight. And oh, oh, oh. There goes the monorail, monorail blue or teal. And essentially people were saying that none of the computers gonna work and everything's gonna go, you know, black and we're gonna, we're gonna, it's like the ice age, we're all gonna die. It's basically what I was hearing. And I mean, even though I was a young kid, you know, I was thinking, time doesn't exist. So how does this computer know? And there's different time zones, you know, and everything like that. So none of it really like made sense to me, but it definitely freaked me out. And while I was kind of freaking out, the rest of the world, including Walt Disney World, we're celebrating this joyous event that mankind was about to go on this new adventure together, you know? The millennium. And Epcot was about to do something that was kind of the unthinkable back then. They were gonna change the image of Spaceship Earth in a sort of weird way. And I'm not talking about this kind of entrance, you know, changing a little bit for a photo op for the Flower and Garden Festival. No, I'm talking about Spaceship Earth. Give you a little backstory. Yeah, Disney unveiled a lot of stuff for the Millennium Celebration. First off, this guy right here with that hat, Sorcerer Mickey, was the icon. And with this celebration, Walt Disney World was like, you know what? Throughout this year, the Millennium, we're gonna unveil a whole bunch of new things. Starting off here at Epcot, they had the Tapestry of Nations, Tapestry, Tapestry, weird word, Tapestry of Nations, which was a parade they had here, puppets, all kinds of people on stilts, great soundtrack, people loved it. They also unveiled Illuminations, Reflections of Earth, unforgettable firework show they had here at Epcot. They also had a festival center you would go to, the Millennium Expo Center, which they now use for other expos and in different festivals they have here. So the building's still here. There was a big one with Mr. Figment, Journey into Your Imagination, which people rioted over the update they did on Journey into Imagination, the removal of Dreamfinder, that whole thing. And then Disney was like, you know what? We're gonna throw a curveball at you all. We're gonna do something to Spaceship Earth, cosmetically. The beautiful icon right here, and if you time it right, which I almost did, you can catch a monorail going right in front of this wonderful spaceship Earth. That would have been a really good shot, but I didn't plan it right. Hey, next time, right? But like I was saying, the beautiful icon that is spaceship Earth, they decided it needed something, something different for the millennium celebration here at Epcot. They put a 25 story Sorcerer Mickey hand with wand in his hand and the numbers 2000 on top for the Millennium Celebration. Right up there on the left hand side looking at Spaceship Earth used to be a giant Mickey hand in 2000. And if anything, history has taught us that Disney does not like to mess with their icons anymore. With the toilet paper over at Magic Kingdom, the birthday cake stuff, and then this 
what they did here at Spaceship Earth. A lot of fans were not happy with Disney. They also unveiled the Leave a Legacy. Do you remember that down here? All the little photographs of the guests who could purchase had their face right here on a photo in front of Spaceship Earth. They have since then moved that out of the park. So now that we know about what was going on, let's match up some photographs, shall we? Shout out to Scott Thomas who took this photograph. You can see what it looked like with the 2000 numbers on top and the Mickey hand with the wand. I don't know, man. I just don't think Spaceship Earth needs that. And a lot of people felt the same way. Here's one you can see how it looked at night with the Leave a Legacy down on the bottom. Not sure who posted this photo on the internet, but if it's yours, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to give credit to everyone, but there was no name for this one. Now, 15 months later, they would remove the 2000. And guess what? Apparently someone thought you would forget you were in Epcot. That's right, just like in this photo that Scott Thomas took a photo of. Credit where credit is due. You can see Epcot there on the right-hand side of Spaceship Earth. We're gonna go match up a few photos of that and show you what it looked like when it said Epcot. Here you can see the monorail going by and Epcot instead of 2000. And that's what it looked like until the year 2007. I bet people seriously thought they were gonna keep that up there forever. I don't think the, the, the spires were there in this spot during the, uh, the Epcot wand in Mickey's hand there. And then Disney decided, hey, we don't need this anymore. So we're gonna remove it. And I do have a photo of them doing the construction and removing the hand, the wand, the whole darn thing. Straight ahead is where that took place. And we got back to Spaceship Earth that we all knew and loved. And in my professional opinion, <clears throat> professional opinion, you know, I think Disney realized that this is what people know Spaceship Earth as, and it shouldn't be touched or changed because this is the icon of this park. And what we have today is very close to what it looked like in 1982, the way it should look. And in my opinion on it, I think it can go without. It did look cool, I will say. It did look cool, but it took away the beauty of Spaceship Earth, the natural beauty of Spaceship Earth, in my opinion. What's your opinion? Comment, let me know. Did you come during that Millennium Celebration or did you visit Walt Disney World up until 2007 when they removed it that said Epcot? I got to see that Epcot thing once and then it was removed. Other than that, I never got to see the 2000, did not visit this place during the Millennium Celebration. But if you did, comment, let me know your thoughts and how your trip was. Was it an eyesore? Because not only had they done this here at Epcot, but they did the same thing at Disney's Hollywood Studios, as well as the Magic Kingdom. The only Disney park that the icon did not get messed with was Animal Kingdom, the Tree of Life. Hey, Walt. The Millennium, man. It's pretty crazy, right? Always good to see you. Well, this was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and learning a little bit of history of Spaceship Earth. Because if someone ever asked, hey, is this how it's always looked here? You can say yes and no. And stick around for future episodes where we dive into the history and changes that the other Disney parks have had on their icons. More of that 
in the future. Thanks for being my friend, and I will see you on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. This is like the closest I can get because I forgot I parked on this side. I don't want to cross this because of the tram, you know? So this is what it looked like as you were walking in with them removing the wand. So it was more of an eyesore than it was when it was actually put together, you know? That's the thing with these overlays. I get why they really don't do them because the construction of them alone, it ruins so many people's you know, photographs. Think about how many people like proposed while they were like doing the construction.